Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello, my name is Kristen. I am a freelance makeup artist. I do a lot of bridal, obviously not at the moment. And a lot of my brides are rescheduling. So if you are a bride that had to reschedule right now, I am very sorry. My heart goes out to you. My heart also goes out to all of the vendors in the wedding industry that have had to handle these postponements like bosses. You're killing it, you're doing great. And I know everyone cannot wait for this to be over, but I thought in the meantime, I would share with you some of my bridal favorites. So these are products that I love. I love to use on weddings. I do carry pretty much the same kit to every job, whether I'm working on set, production, or bridal, um, because I just know I can like do anything with what I have. And then if I have something special or any special requests, I will obviously bring that. But for the most part, I bring my just regular basic kit, which I will put on the screen right now. I did just do an updated what's in my kit video this year. So go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But these are just some of the products that I like gravitate towards when I'm doing bridal, um, because it definitely is totally different makeup from like being on set um, and things like that. So. I hope that you guys like this video. Please let me know what other kind of videos you want to see next and I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so first I'm going to start out with primers, moisturizers, things like that. So the first thing is obviously like a heaven scent. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Moisturizer. This thing is quite expensive, especially for the little bottle that you get. I mean, it has a good amount of product. I've had it for a while and I'm like not done yet almost which is really sad but i only use this on my brides because it is like so luxurious and expensive but this is really hydrating but not to the point where like it makes everything like greasy or slip off it's kind of hard to explain it definitely is like a texture that i haven't really ever felt before in a moisturizer it's just really 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 nice and it works on a lot of different skin types um if someone's really oily i probably won't use this but normal to dry to combo I will. And if somebody is like a little bit oily, I will use this and then just put on like a mattifying primer in their T-zone or wherever they get oily so that way they still have that hydration and that really pretty glow to them and then just controlling the shine in those target areas. Two more primers that I love. This one is the Too Faced Hangover RX. Almost out of this one. It's a really great one. It's very hydrating and it kind of gives like a little like grip I feel like when you put it on. I like to really press it into the skin and you really feel it getting like almost tacky not really too tacky but it's like hydrating but you feel that it has that little bit of stickiness to it so that the makeup really sticks and, and adheres to it and it smells really great I just really love this one and then the good old Tatcha silk canvas primer this one is amazing I've had this for a while and used this on a lot of people and I'm like just about halfway done it's so nice you don't need a lot of this this is great to fill in any pores fine lines i like to take a little little bit and really press into the skin first in any of the areas that i'm using it and then i'll like smooth it out after but this is just so great next let's go into foundations these are the two foundations that i carry in my kit i have depotted them both um into these little containers which again if you haven't seen my what's my kit video i talk about it a little bit there i'm thinking about doing a whole video all about my like downsized products and what I did and tips and things like that so if you want to see that let me know but they are in these just little squeeze tubes from Muji I believe and they are I have two different like label sets so I know which one's which the one is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation which if you have and it's the liquid one because they have a liquid and a cream but if you have watched my videos for a long time I'm sure you know I used to have a ton of like old videos of like vlogs and everything I took them down because I don't like them anymore but um, if you follow me, you know, I like have loved this for years and years and years and I'm very upset because I told myself that this year 2020 and on I'm only buying cruelty free products for my kit and for myself because that's just something that I'm really passionate about and Makeup Forever is not because they sell in China. I'm pretty sure that's why um, So that's like a whole nother video, but I'm very sad. So I'm not buying any more of these which I know I probably shouldn't be talking about it then but I do use them. I'm going to be honest. I use them on my wet brides. I have for years and years and years. So I am finishing these out. I'm going to be trying out some new foundations to add to my kit once I'm done with these. Actually, both of them because they're both not cruelty free. Um, but I have used them for so long. I know they work great. This one is the Dior Backstage Face and Body. Love them. I love both of these. I really like them because they're both buildable. This one's probably like medium 
and then you could build it up. And this one definitely can start off really sheer, but can build up too. I love them because they're really great for all skin types. So if somebody is really dry, I will prep their skin with a lot of hydrating products. And this will kind of be like more like a glowy, dewy foundation. And then if someone's really oily, I will prep them with a lot of mattifying products. And this will become like more of like a mattifying foundation for both of them. So just the way that you prep it and set it and use it can make a big difference in how it comes out, which is great because I can use it on so many different people. It's really versatile. And that's something that you want to carry in your kit so that you can get the most out of everything that you're carrying. So I have two powders in here that I really love and I gravitate most towards. The one that I've been using again for years and years, and I love this, is the RCMA No Color Powder. I depotted all of my powders into this. Um, so it's just a really like white, no color powder. This is great for baking. I love it for that. It never like leaves any residue or like gray cast on anybody, even on deeper skin tones. I feel like it still looks really nice. Um, it's very, I would say like not super mattifying. If someone's oily and you like bake with this, it's not moving anywhere like it's staying on all night long um but if you just use it with like a big fluffy brush it's not super drying or anything but if somebody is more dry or if i'm doing like a mother of the bride or grandmother i love the hourglass translucent mineral veil i think it's called um powder and that one's really really pretty it gives a nice glow to the skin i love using that when i want just like a little bit more hydration just want a little bit more glow so both of those are really pretty another thing that i love for brides and again these are depotted um but are liquid blushes so i love layering blushes and using a liquid blush on top of the foundation underneath the powder and then another powder blush on top just doing that really ensures that it is staying the entire night and not fading or anything because i feel like blush is always one of the first things to go you could put on like a ton and then like 20 minutes later it's like did you even put any blush on so i love layering i feel like that makes a really big difference so two of my favorite formulas that i love are the nars again won't be repurchasing this but i am loving it while i'm using it this is the orgasm liquid blush and then um glossier has really really great ones this one is storm and this one's puff i do have a couple more that i have to put in these containers and i want to get the rest of them but i can mix these and they just have a really great formula too one more thing i am obsessed with obsessed are charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filters i love these so much like so so much you can use them underneath your foundation you can use them all over as a foundation if you want something really glowy not a lot of coverage just to kind of even out skin tone i just figured that out like not that long ago i tried it on myself and i was like in love so i probably will try it on them I'm not sure if it's like I feel like if you layer different products, it can look really, really incredible for brides. So you have to test that out on some models and stuff, but I love using this for my brides, especially as a highlight on top of the foundation. You could also like mix it in. You can do a ton of stuff with it. So I love to put it on the high points of the face and it just gives such a pretty glow from within. It's so, so beautiful. So I love, love these. So again, I love Hourglass. They're one of my favorite brands. This is something that I love from them. This is their ambient lighting powder in luminous light. So I think this one's different than their other ones because I have um, Ethereal Light, which is just like a lighter shade. And then I have this one, which is like a little bit darker. Um, but this one really gives such a beautiful glow. I'm wearing it actually, like that's my highlight today. It's just this all over. And I love doing that on brides because it gives just the most beautiful glow from within that you have ever seen and in photos it just looks like your skin is just shiny and not shiny in a bad way but like just glowing and beautiful and not like those like chunky sparkly glitters or anything like that like it's just so i don't even know if you can if you'll be able to tell because it really like makes a difference with a brush too so if you want to be a little bit more intense you can just spray a setting spray or any kind of like facial spray before you put it on and it will just like add a little bit of like a pow to it which is so pretty but i tried using the lighter one for lighter skin tones like in the same way and i feel like it didn't really work as well so i don't know if it's just this one that has like the really pretty like boom highlight glow to it and this is just like a nice like setting powder I don't know, but Luminous Light is incredible for brides for a highlight. Try it, thank me later. Okay, so onto eyes. I mean, like, there's one eyeshadow that sticks out to me that's just like bridal, screams bridal, is the Stila Kitten eyeshadow. It comes in a single one like this. It is just the most perfect pinky, champagne y kind of color. Like, brides show me pictures and 
this is what they want all the time. I put it on so many people and they love it. It's just it's so universal and just, it screams bridal, you know? Okay, onto brows because I feel like this is just all over the place anyway, this video. Um, I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow book. That's what mine looks like. Um, it's great for any working makeup artists that are doing a lot of people like large bridal parties or anything because you have so many different shades in one little palette. It's I think every single shade that she makes. So it's great. I love using powders on brides because I feel like it just really sets there and stays in place. I do like using the dip brow too and sometimes I use pencils. I switch between all of her products but I feel like I do gravitate towards this one the most. So for eyeliner, guys. If you don't have this this is going to change your makeup game i'm telling you right now it is so freaking good it is the nyx matte liquid liner this is the black one it is the best liquid liner actually probably just like the best eyeliner i've ever tried in my life it is so freaking good when i tell you it dries down and it does not move i'm wearing it right now i put it on the back of my hand before and it literally does not come off so if you so if you're doing somebody that has hooded eyelids or the eyeliner usually transfers try this out it sets down and it just will not budge and it's so black it's matte so it's gonna have that little shine to it it's incredible so they also make this is the nyx black mousse eyeliner they call this um it's pretty much just a gel eyeliner but I don't know if they redid it or if they have two separate kinds because I have definitely used a gel liner from them in the past that was not the same formula. So I don't know if they redid it or not, but this is just the black mousse one it says. Um, but this is pretty much like this one in gel form. So this you could put on and it also does not budge. So both of these have a little bit of a learning curve. You have to practice because once they set, there really is no going back. They don't set too, too fast. Definitely this one a little bit faster than the gel, but... They're both incredible. I like to put this in the waterline or tight line with a really precise pencil. I'm wearing that in my tight line right now because again, it does not move. So if you want like a long lasting look, pencils wear off so, so fast. This is where it's at. So both of these from NYX are incredible. Also, let me mention real quick that when I apply this on clients, I do not use this brush. This is my own. So I have used this brush before, but when I'm using it on a client, I will just take this out, get my metal spatula and just kind of like scoop the product on into the metal spatula um, or palette. I mean, I'll just scoop it onto the palette and just pick it up with a separate brush from there. It does kind of suck because this brush does work really well. I do like this brush, like the shape of it and everything is really nice. I just have other basic eyeliner brushes that I like and that I use and I will use them in that. So just make sure, make sure, make sure that if you're using this on multiple people, you're not going to use this applicator and then dip back in here, do it again because that is nasty. You're going to contaminate the product, but they are inexpensive. They do have a pro discount NYX. So if you want to get a bunch of them and like give them to the bride right after and just give to her, you can totally do that too. Um, but yeah, just make sure that you're using this in a sanitary way, but it's incredible. So try it out. Okay. Sorry. I had to move a little bit. The sun's like shining directly through my window, but I'm going to move on to lips now. I have two brands that are my favorites. First is Charlotte Tilbury. I love her lip liners. The, what do they call them lip cheats and they're just so pretty the shades are beautiful and her lipstick her lipsticks are incredible too i just love like pretty much anything charlotte tilbury honestly but specifically the shade pillow talk is it's beautiful it's incredible this kim k west is also really really pretty especially if you combine them together oh, it's so beautiful but i love these two also another great one that I use all of the time. This is incredible, especially if you're starting out, just because you get so many shades in one palette is the Graftobian Ultra HD, is that what it's called? High Def Lip Color Super Palette. So it has all of these shades, it has neutrals, some bold shades, any color you want, you pretty much have it in here, you're covered. It's really beautiful. Um, the formula is so good. These are really pigmented. They're really hydrating on the lips, but they still like last a long time. I feel like whenever I use this on somebody, people are always asking what their lip color was. So it's really, really nice. For gloss, I love Buxom. They have really pretty shades. They smell great. They have some plumping ones if you like that. But this one is the shade White Russian and it is just so pretty. It's so glossy on the lips and it just like blends so nicely with any kind of like nudie, pinky kind of color. Very, very pretty. And then I also love the Fenty Gloss Bombs. Yeah, that's what they're called. This one's a shade Fussy. I have like the whitish one too. This is the pinky color. 
but they are just so beautiful. I love them so much. All right, and then lastly, for setting spray, I have two favorites, the Urban Decay All Nighter. I feel like it's a classic. You can't go wrong with that. I use this on a lot of people. If somebody's very, very oily, I will use the Ben Nye Final Seal Setting Spray, and this is like no joke not a fan of the smell at all it is like a very strong mint smell it kind of smells like you're spraying listerine in someone's face but when i tell you it like locks in the makeup it locks in the makeup like you actually feel it on your skin like get a little bit tight when you spray it but it's super mattifying so if somebody has really oily skin this is really great for them to help make it last all day long and then just two more like miscellaneous products this first one is a jade roller i love using this on my brides just my brides i like to take an extra like five ten minutes and just give them a nice little like facial face massage it just helps them like relax feel pampered i love it like when i'm watching them because a lot of times when I start their makeup, they'll be like, so-and-so, do this. Make sure you do this. And like talking to everybody and just like being a bride, getting stuff done. But as soon as I start doing this, they instantly, like you can see, just like melt down and are just like silent for like five, ten minutes. And they just love, love a little pampering. So I love bringing this with me. I just use it on only the bride. And it's just a really nice little touch. And then last we have these little hair clips, which they go like this. I feel like everyone has seen them all over the place celebrities use them it's great because if they have or have not gotten their hair done you can clip it out of the way and these little plastic parts make sure that the hair does not dent so it's really important either way to make sure that you aren't messing up their hair especially if they just got it done so i love these you get a pack of like a ton of them for pretty inexpensive from amazon i'll have it linked down below but these are incredible i love them so much okay one more actually i forgot about so as makeup artists, we are responsible for all of the skin showing. So I like to have either my bride get dressed before I leave, or if she's wearing some kind of like strapless dress that doesn't have sleeves or anything, I'll just have her like take down her robe before I leave and put this on. This is the Glossier Body Hero Body Lotion. Guys, this is so, so beautiful. Um, It has like a little bit of, I don't even know what you would call it. I guess like a pinky, like but it's not really too pink. Like it works on pretty much every skin tone. Just like a glow to it, like a shine. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but when you put it on in person, it just makes the skin look so supple and glowing and like alive. It smells great, it feels great. It's just a really incredible lotion. So I'll just put this like all over. Um, sometimes I'll put like a little bit of highlight on the collarbones or the shoulders, but I am not a fan of that look where the whole like, decollete area is like a gloss bomb like iridescent shining chunky glitter and then the face everywhere else is not i just feel like it looks kind of off so this just helps the skin to look like skin but just look like sexy and healthy and glowing and then you can add a little bit of highlight to those high points so yeah those are all my favorites i hope that you guys liked this video again make sure to let me know in the comments what videos you want to see next and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like and subscribe if you're new follow my instagram all the good stuff and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye